school, this is Next University, where we believe in lifelong learning, and today we're learning about sexual health. Hello, class. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Good morning. You are. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Good morning. You are. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Sex is all about patience. You know, nobody wants to finish fast. That's what we're learning here today. Always the most important. Correct. Well done. Two points to you. Repeat. <laughs> I have a confession to make. I'm actually Kishan, the actor, host, and social media personality, undercover as a professor. But don't tell them this. I'm just here to uh, teach. Teach what? I don't know. Sexual health, apparently. Not like I need it, but study of sex anyway. When I came in and I found out who the teacher was, um, it's this guy with blonde hair. He looks like a clown. Like, where do you get him from? The circus? Our professor is Kishan. Kishan! Guys, I think you need to review your hiring process. Can I talk to HR? I am very excited, like, we're gonna talk about ratchet stuff, right? How have you taken care of your sexual health today? Testing. To test yourself when you... every six months. Test yourself every six months. It's like going to the dentist, right? Yes, yes, yes. I think that's important. Okay, you're very smart, guys. How have you, how have you taken care of your sexual health? Use condom. <laughs> and 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 you and I and I know something new. Yeah. So like when you when you when you wash your down then you cannot do shit. You will spoil the pH of it. So how do you take care of your sexual health? Thank you for asking me. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's called taking regular thin showers. It starts with hygiene. Make sure you're clean, bacteria free. That's where you start. Start at home. Which I know. Yes. Pee after sex. Oh, yeah. Actually, not damn sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, no, important. Show. Sure. Important. important. What's the importance of being a You tell me you're a professor. You yeah. for yeah. this, school. this is, this is, you learn, I learn, we all learn. You see how I have sex is different from how you have sex. Why pee? Yeah. After sex? Mm. To prevent UTIs. Mm. To prevent UTIs. Have you ever gotten one? Me? No, I do I take regular showers. Who has gotten a UTI? Me, but it's because I, I spin. Oh, because you have. Like, Actually, do you wear a pet when you spin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, liner, liner, liner. Oh, then, 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 if it's a bit too long, then it's like, oh. Sorry, sorry, you got, you got UTI from spin. What spin? No, it's like, if you sweat too, okay, not just spin. In general, if you sweat too much yeah. and you don't change it regularly, mm. you will get UTI. Oh. oh. See, shower. The ladies. After you spin, touch your shower. I can't even read it. How prepared were you for sexual health care as you transition into adulthood? Why I'm bringing this up is very simple. Because that's how I started. I didn't know anything about it. And I had a conversation with my mom. She bought me my first pack of condoms. When I turned 18, she said, you're ready. I said, actually, you're ready 16. Ready. <laughs> Standing up ready. She said, no, 18, she bought me a pack. We sat down. We had a great conversation about sex. I mean, sex is fine. You can do it with your partner. Right hand. Right, what? With the right hand. No. Okay. okay. Oh, How are you? Not prepared at all. Yeah? What happened? Not prepared. I didn't know I was birth control. Yeah. I didn't, don't really know what a condom. High works, high Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the time, like, at the time. I think it's very smart to pack condoms. Just keep it in your wallet. Mm. Safe. Because you never know, you go out, you get drunk. Actually, they say don't put Yeah, they say don't put the condom in the wallet. Just like, Why? kind of like. It may spoil the integrity of your uh, condom. I right? think you know too much for a virgin. No, it's something you can <laughs> educate you know, so that if the, when the time arises when, when you do happen to actually yeah. find the person that you want to come and have sex with, right? Then, then you just know what to do, right? Mm. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Right. 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 I don't know about you guys, but I think Jivan really is trying to be teacher's pet here. He's trying to impress the teacher, like, calm down bro, this is not SMU. You don't need to fight for class part points, right? Actually, I know these are the three more serious monitors, right? But I would add one more and say, yeah. please have regular conversations with your friends about it. Yeah. yeah, be open about it, you know, because if you yeah. don't understand or learn about it, you're not going to understand anything and then what, something happens to you. I would say parents need to be more open with the conversation. Yeah. You know, I had, a, I had a friend who accidentally, like, I mean, to drown, like, even asleep with someone who was HIV positive. Yeah. 
And, um, but here's the thing about being HIV, right? People get a viral load down yeah. and all the pills. So technically he's sick, yeah. right? But this particular individual was so paranoid about it. He said, what do you have to do now is quickly go down to the DSC clinic and they have this thing called the PP, post-exposure pill, yeah. that you have to take within 72 hours. And then you will be clear. You want to tell us about regular testing? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Regular testing is very important. I didn't know yeah. this till like last year. If you're sexually active, right? Yeah. Even if you're in a long-term relationship, you can get HPV. Yeah. It's very possible. The strain will come, then you'll pass it to your partner, your partner will pass it back to you, and you can have it for years and years. That's what my guy told me. Yeah, even if you've only had one partner, you can still get it. Yeah, there's even a statistic like 80% of people who are sexually active will be bound to get HPV. Yeah. Yes. It's life. the most so, common yeah. STI. Well, class, here's the fun part. We're going to play Sexual Health 101 Game Show. Yay! Woo! Well, the English was full, huh? One. Shall we do Team 1 and Team 2? Then we'll be and like Gonorrhea. Gonorrhea! Oh, yes. Gonorrhea! Team Gonorrhea? Are you serious? Like, Jivan? Why must we use Gonorrhea? I don't get it. Sorry, we are herpes. We are herpes. Herpes? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Easier herpes. to pronounce. Yeah. Easier to spell. So for this game show, our producers did a survey on Google and found out what are the top STIs. And here we go. Ready? Show me the question. And the question is, name an STI. Okay, wait, 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 wait. First team, put up your hands. Ready? Go. Herpes. 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 Is herpes on the board? Herpes. Herpes. Okay, we're gonna do yeah syphilis. You wanna do syphilis? Yeah. You wanna do syphilis? Yeah. Let's do syphilis. Um, oh, you just do You demonstrate for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gonorrhea! Gonorrhea. Is gonorrhea on the board? Gonorrhea! Okay, okay. okay. HIV. Is HIV on the board? Yeah. Ooh! Oh. Oh. Can we get one more try? I'm not trying. COVID. COVID? <laughs> is COVID an <laughs> STI? What about me? Is COVID on the board? <laughs> Some of them are quite dumb. Some of them are really funny. Some most of the time I don't even know what they're saying. Like, do they even think or not? I think there's a clear liability in the group, and it's not me. You guys have one chance to steal this whole victory. What do you think? Okay, so please, uh, <laughs> trichomonisis. Well, you speak Spanish. It's whatever he said on the board. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, let's see the final answer. Let's see what you guys stand to win. Show me! Get the box! I mean, at this point, it's like, if you look at Jeevan and Janelle, and you look at Jermaine and I, it's very clear who would have won anyway. I mean, like, why even playing this game? It's so clear that we are the smarter ones. Next round! <laughs> this is a real <laughs> Show me the question. How ah! Wait, wait, wait. Name a symptom of STI. <laughs> Okay, we give it to the team. Okay, you're very excited. Okay, okay, I think we go rashes first. Discharge. Pass, pass, pass discharge. Pass, 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 Warts. You know, is it the warts? Genital warts. I mean, warts, warts, it's like it's, it's on the skin. It looks like a blister kind of thing, right? Oh, but it's there, it will come out, it will wiggle out. Well, there's no warts, there's, there's no warts. Final answer, final answer, genital warts. Playing the game show, honestly, I have like worked with Janelle before. She's not a reliable teammate. You see what she's doing? Like she's just taking photos right now. But but she has good intentions. She has good intentions. She has a good heart. But not the best team player. Gentle words. Gentle words. I want to see worms on the boys. Worms on the board. There you go. Not bad. One painful. It's painful urine. See? There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Even say urine is painful. It's not the penis hurt. No, it's that. It's the liquid is pain. So maybe you should have. <laughs> okay, bleeding, 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 bleeding in your house. No, 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 bleeding in your house. I don't want to. I don't want to yeah. keep bleeding. Okay. okay. So, so still, 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 still. I got it. Come on, you're gonna fight the females, huh? Sorry, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Itchy, itchy. Itch, 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 itch. 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 Itch.
Wrong. Oh, 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 Can we see the final answer on the board, please? So it's back to after Pain oh. during sex. I don't know about you guys, but the frustration when I saw the correct answer that I said and Jermaine denied me off, the frustration, I just wanted to like choke her, but you know, this is a very family friendly show and the only choking will be done off. <laughs> so this is the STI versus STD. Oh. Mm. Uh, maybe asymptomatic and never develop into a disease. STD is an advanced form of STI with clear symptoms. Oh. Mm. So Every good. STD begins as an STI mm. and then it can become an STD. Yes. Okay. Even if you cannot see it, I will always suggest please go and get tested regularly. Yeah. Yeah, if you're having an active lifestyle, every sexual lifestyle, just get yourself tested regularly, it's good for you. I think the stigma surrounding STDs and STIs have gotten a lot better mm -hmm. in recent years. Like, um, I just think that if you are sexually active, right, and if you have an STD, what do you guys think? Like, would you declare it before you see someone? On your point, I think everybody should have the responsibility yeah. to, you know, put it out there and say, hey, I have this. Or be brave enough to ask the person you're having sex with, hey, is there anything I need to know? Mm. As simple as that. I think it's, it's a legit and important question. Protect yourself. If not, yeah. right, just for the pleasure, you'll regret the next day. That's true. Wow. Just, just wondering, anybody here had a STI or STD scan? My friend, um, she has been seeing one partner for like years now. Yeah. Then suddenly she got a sore, like a wart on her vagina. Yeah. Yeah. And it turns out it was chlamydia. Um, That's how she found out that her partner was cheating on her. <gasps> he slept with someone else. Dead like, bastard. Oh, wow. Well, I don't know what is worse, the cheating or the STD? I think the yeah. STD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so last year mine, he also had like a, like a wart on his like uh, penis. Mm. And basically, for that what it was caused by also HPV. So it's like the early onset stages. So I think he went to the clinic and what they did was they, they used liquid nitrogen to freeze off the wart. Mm. Yeah. So he's essentially, that wart is gone. Mm. The wart is gone and I think that was his wake up call. So liquid because he, nitrogen? Mm. People use Swenson ice cream to freeze. Like, they use liquid nitrogen to freeze ice cream. <laughs> and, and the thing is, and the thing is that was a serious question but yeah. HPV can be passed through skin contact, so even yeah. if you wear a condom, right, it can still pass on just by touching yeah. the skin. Like, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, you can pass, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. We've been bringing up HPV a lot, so but do we know what HPV is? Jennifer, you want to my lovers? Milo? <laughs> ice Milo? <laughs> HPV is Ice Milo. Huh? You go fast food, you order one HPV, huh? <laughs> Upsize, you order. <laughs> 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 A lot of people can mistaken it to be like HIV equivalent. Mm. They think HPV equals HIV but the system. But it's, it's not. Totally it's not. It's totally different. There are many different kinds of HPV. Basically, there are more serious ones which you can get vaccinated for. Mm. So if you can get a vaccine, go and get a vaccine. It's a free for females. Below uh, the age of 26. 26. Yeah. You can claim from Below 26. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. So. Mm. But for guys, unfortunately, in Singapore, you do need to pay. But I've heard in countries like Australia and US, they provide it free for all the both gen. There's a misconception that guys don't need it, but actually guys need it too. The vaccine. Yeah. The vaccine. Can we give you a round of applause? Thank you. Woo! Thanks, Thank you. How to prevent HPV? Go for your regular pap smears. Yeah. yeah. And make sure your guys are not... Guys don't do pap smears, right? Oh. oh. No. What's the good age of stuff? Just checking, you know, how to... Anytime you're sexually active! Yeah, that's right. Best case is still getting vaccinated. So it is a price to pay, but if you are sexually active, you make that choice because you don't want to suffer with your... So mm. question for Kishan and Joe, will you all get vaccinated? Yeah, why not? Uh, not for the time being, I just took three. La. It's $250. Yeah, 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 but like for peace mind, of yeah. mind. For peace of mind. Yeah. Yeah. And cancer prevention. Yeah. Like lowering the chance of cancer. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people assume that it's full intercourse yeah. that you get STIs from, but actually oral sex actually is something that you know you can expose yourself to different STIs as well. Mm -hmm. Especially when you don't have a like condom or anything. Have you gotten vaccinated? Not for COVID. I'm on the way. I'm on the way.
on the way. So the vaccination, right? It's not like the COVID vaccination where you're down for days. Actually, I was thinking, like, oh, I only got it last year. I really like delayed for many, many years. Okay. And I'm telling all my friends going to get it. So you'll get one at the zero at the zero point. Yeah. Then you get one at three months. Yeah. And you get one six months after that. Yeah. I think at most I felt like soreness only. Mm. I was convinced by the doctor lah, cause I had the perception that only females need it. Cause I mean, like if the government made it free for females. That means females like likely was more severe for them. Mm. That's why I didn't really I put it off for quite a long time lah. But now apparently I think they're gonna make it free for guys one day. It should be lah. It should be. Yeah. It's free for girls because we are at a higher risk Free, of yeah. cervical cancer mm. and all that. Yeah, because we have a uterus. Yeah, yeah. But it's but it's expensive. So I mean, especially oh, yeah. for younger folks, I think it's hard for them to fork out like the full suite is like seven hundred fifty dollars. Oh. I think it's worth it though, right? For sure, for sure. Right. For me. Just in case. I took my human papilloma virus vaccine because I wanted to have that peace of mind. And I think paying $750 to earn that peace of mind is worth it. Well, class, I hope you learned a lot today, but not from me, because I know I learned it from y'all. So thank you very much for Woo! teaching me. Yeah. Thank you so much. So that's what I was here to do. And I swear, the class taught me more than I know. And I and taking the slides back home because I need the notes. I learned that 80% of people will likely get HPV once in their lifetime. Always get tested. Have open conversations about this, you know, yes. with your friends, with your family. Like when I have kids next time, I will legit like, tell them yes. about all my experiences. Yeah, I think don't be afraid to ask your potential sexual partner. Is there anything I should know of right now? How are you feeling? And if they can't answer you, like if they're not cognizant enough yeah. to answer you. Red flag! Red flag! Precisely. Yeah. Don't go for it. I think when it comes to uh, STIs, STDs, there's always just so much fear mm -hmm. associated with it. I think it's also because it's such a taboo thing. I think it's important for us to just approach it from a very logical point of view. Make sure that you always um, like check in and, and put yourself in the best position to help yourself deal with the situation. I mean, like, I'm so lovely to have uh, meet this beautiful cast. I thought I've got no negative comments to say about them. You know, they're so great, like they're so pretty, they're so handsome, they're so talented, like I look up to them, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> all in all, jokes aside, I think I learned a lot from this episode. There will be a lot of you know, lessons that will be applied to real life as well. So I'm excited to now um, have sex. <laughs> have sex safely. So guys, thank you for watching today's episode. We want to thank our lovely Professor Kishan. <laughs> We have to thank you all <laughs> for educating me the most. Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah. And you just look there. Well, thank you so much. I learned, I learned so much. I'm, I'll keep this in my room. Yes, so if you want to see more, more topics like this, you know, like tell us in the comments, like if you, if you like this, you know. And like lastly, do subscribe, like, share with this with your friends, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. 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 Bye.